Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to round two of six here for Swiss Standard at the SCG Super IQ, hosted by Nerd Rage Gaming. I'm your host, Andrew Donnelly, with me, my co-host, Matt Hauser, in the building. What's going on? And guys, we apologize for the long break there. There were a few matches that went to rounds. Yep. And turns. Turns, rounds. Turn rounds. Round turns. They were, they, were, they were round and turns, but guess what? It We've happens. got round two set up for you guys. A nice double match here with Mr. Peter Tragos, wow. Matthew Tickle, both playing Sadissi Whip. Interesting. Well, they're both 1 0. Yep. I mean, clearly this deck's doing something right. The mirror match is online for round two here, so this will definitely be uh, be an interesting way to watch this get played out. Mm -hmm. uh, Peter Tragos, as you know, member of Team Nerd Rage Gaming, along with uh, Matthew Hoey, Indeed. Joe Lissette, Noah Cohen, and Andrew Tendrum. Uh, Sadissi Whip, the deck of choice for Mr. Tragos to get, and it seems like also uh, Matthew Tickle. So, Yeah, why not? Looks like a very strong deck. Right. I've heard it has some uh, pretty good matchups against the Abzan decks. It seems like uh, it. Whip is still a very strong card. Yep. And, uh, you know, definitely has its targets. Seen a lot of uh, awesome tech here with the Den Protectors, Death Mist Raptors. Uh, some some interesting things here I like for uh, Whip and Back. We got Sissy. Yep. We've got uh, both of them, actually. Hornet Queens, Reckless Ages. Yeah. I mean, it's all there. All the value. We're going to see Matthew Tickle lead off turn one. Temple of Malady Scry decided to keep it on top. Peter's going to follow suit, lead off with his own Temple of Malady, keep it on top as well. Quite the mirror. This is well, this is, this is the mirror right here. Uh, Seder Wayfinder online for Mr. Tickle. Going to mill some cards, see if he can't get himself another land. Shows four there. Flips him over. We've got a Death Mist Raptor, Opulent Palace, and a Temple of Malady. Decides to take the Temple of Malady. Yeah, it takes that over the palace. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Maybe he already has uh, his blue online, but doesn't look like it. Although not much blue in his hand, so... Opulent Palace from Mr. Trigos is going to have a quick pass back. Wayfinder going to get frisky. I like it. And then we're going to see Death Mist. There's the Death Mist Raptor. The one thing so you can always... Got a Raptor in the yard, got a Raptor in the hand. You note about these decks, too, is if, if the card's played face down, it's mm -hmm. a Den Protector. If the card's played face up, it's probably, just death probably a mess Death, death Mist Raptor. Most likely. Well, it is a Death Mist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know that to a certainty. Seder wait, or I'm sorry, no. A Corsair Crucifix yeah, coming out. Yeah, coming out for Peter. Like uh, it. Not lining up too great against this Death Mist. No. So we're just going to take three. He's going to be dropping to a 16. Yeah, I mean, this initial game, it looks like Matt's got all the action. He Peter, does Peter just looking to set up some stuff. Does have quite a lot of cards in hand. Mm -hmm. Can take a turn off here to play a Dem Protector face down, which seems like a solid play. Also has a bit. thought season hand. He's going to go with that instead. Okay. He could also just... I guess he could play a den, uh, den protector face up, but... So let's see what Peter's working with. Dang. That looks like a murderous cut. Cut, whip, courser, sure. Rakshasa, Rakshasa. and a den, den protector. protector. So Peter with some action in hand as yeah. well. Probably trying to set up a turn where he can play a face down den protector, following it up with a whip. Potentially keep a Rakshasa up as well. Mm -hmm. uh, no real way to fill his graveyard yet, but... No, not a whole lot. But uh, definitely a lot of power in that hand. Sure. We're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna take the the obvious enabler of whip. That so, seems all right. Yeah, I agree with that. Lifelink gonna be a problem later on, anyways. Peter gonna draw for the turn. We'll picks up the temple. We'll flip. Finds a Seder Wayfinder. Okay. Imagine we'll just. I don't know. I, I'd like to think Peter just takes the line to play another courser. Yeah. Drop a land. Sure. And just start. Yeah. Gaining back the just life. Start gaining some little lives, setting it up. Uh, now that his whip's gone, you know. Tapping for three here. He will deploy that second Courser. Probably yep. follow it up here with the second Opulent Palace. Going to gain two. It's most likely. I like it. Good line. Yeah. Can't hurt. Gets in for it's two all here. All uphill from here. It's pretty easy attack with the... Uh, we're not blocking that Death Mist. And right. I imagine Wayfinder is uh, being saved for a chump block. have to imagine that Matthew would like to get that Den Protector placed out here, but he might have been waiting a turn so he can play it and have mana up to flip as well. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that whip coming back will be pretty huge. Sure. Both players at 15 right now. Even playing field. Yeah, so Death Mist effectively is just dealing one here. Uh, Every turn. Yeah, not a bad place to be if you're a Peter. I think if you're Peter, you're also pretty happy with the fact that, I mean, these coursers will give you the ability to eat through the uh, the dead land draws that you'd normally have. Yeah, very true. We're going to see a face down 
Most likely Death Protector. I don't uh, yeah, I can't imagine what that card would be. Yeah. Peter finding a Death Mist Raptor of his own off the top of his deck. Seems good. These decks are doing it. Rakshasa has wow. to be a good card in this matchup, I have to believe. I would imagine so. I can't. I, I just can't imagine it's a bad card. A lot of spot removal. Right. Uh, he's got mana up to save it, so yeah, let's drop it. Uh, we can also Wayfinder. Uh, that Mist Raptor going to the graveyard is real no concern. Right. Uh, we do lose an, lose the Encase and Ice, and I believe that's a Sadissi. Yeah. So that's a little painful, but we might get our whip back soon here. Finds a land on the top. We do have mana up to also play a face down Den Protector, so I imagine Peter is going to take a line similar to that. I wonder, is there any reason for him to keep mana up to... He does not have the downfall, right? Or does uh, Peter also have a downfall? Matthew has a downfall. Matt, in yeah, Matt's got a downfall. I believe Peter just... Den Protector, Rakshasa... Uh, what else is left? Land. Temple of yeah, Mystery, just lands, yeah. Sure. So I imagine we just... I, I guess the case can be made is we have to play this uh, Den Protector yeah. with mana up to morph it right away in case it dies. Right. So, yeah, it might just be a passing of the turn here. Going to decide to tap for two. Who's this going to be? The Rakshasa coming out? Hmm. Yeah. I, I like that play. We're, we're baiting his downfall. Sure. Den Protector going to Megamorph. Uh -oh. Gets a Thoughtseize back. Well, there goes that plan. Here comes the Raptors. Yeah, I mean, just loads of pressure with one morph. Right. One of the one of the great reasons these two just combo so well together. The thoughts he's again coming out for Mr. Matthew. He's doing it. He's gonna show. Gonna, gonna take Dead that protector Dead protector. Protector. cut. I imagine he'll take the protector. Yeah. Really lock strong. out that whip. Yep. And now. It's the murderers. It right, takes the bait on that because now it's not bait. Right. It's just gas. Here comes the team. No blocks for Corsair. None that are uh, effective, really. That Den Protector is bigger than anything Peter can block with. So, yeah, imagine we're taking nine. Uh, I mean, we could set up a block here with our Wayfinder. Yeah, I guess Wayfinder can just chump one of those Death Mists. I, I don't know. think it's going to do much else here. Yeah, I just don't know if Peter wants to take that line. There's a potential here where we could also uh, send out this Murderous Cut, but I don't. It's mm -hmm. that's also not doing a lot for us. Yeah, no, I agree. Of note... Matthew definitely been using his life as a resource here and, and yeah. really taking some pain. So he, he's uh, he's raptoring a little bit more efficiently than than Peter is at the moment. Peter looks like he does in fact want to toss out this uh, this murderous cut. Looks like gonna he's delve some cards away. All right, so it, that wasn't a Sadisi from earlier. It looks like he found a uh, Torn Elemental. Oh, that card's good. So he's gonna delve that away, which totally makes sense. Peter, that, that thing close to being uh, so no, not close. Can yeah. can be cast now. Can be cast from exile. So yes, seems pretty good. All right, rattleclaw off the top. Eh, it morphs. Interesting. It's a start. Peter's got at least one death mist in his graveyard, so it's better than nothing. Get See a scry. I imagine that'll just. Nope, not interested. Not interested in raptor at this point. Finds another land off the top. Well, I'd I'd rather have a mystic. Yeah. 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 But that's the game you play. And Torn Elemental is online. And that is a fun card. Agreed. I like it. I think it's pretty it's pretty good beats right one here. Of the too. Value, one of the value cycle mythics from uh, Fate Reforged. Hasn't really seen a lot of play, but Right. Uh if you're if you're playing you know, playing these whip decks, seems fine. Delves in the format. Matthew's down to nine here. Like we were saying, he's he has been using his life total as a resource, so does have to kind of be careful how he approaches yeah. this line. Gonna go just straight beats, though. Getting grindy. Yeah, I mean, well, these raptors are getting tapped down by that elemental. Right. If they don't attack, so you might as well send them in. Sure. Peter so, feels like trading with the... So uh, now we're gonna just one for one. Seems like a fine trade. Yeah, I'm alright with that. That's probably the best trade you can hope for out of a Wayfinder. And now on the crackback, no lethal on board. No, but it doesn't look like it. But that Torn Elemental definitely causing some problems. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a start. This will be a face-down Den Protector again with the ability to flip up. Uh, you're speculating that it's a Den Protector. Am I? <laughs> what other cards could it be? It could be a Mystic. <laughs> could, be could be a Mystic. Rattleclaw Mystic. Ooh, is that a Murderous Cut off the top? That's pretty spicy. That's not bad. 
think we need that in our hand, though. Well, because we we really just need to stave off one more attack out of Matt. I mean, there's a win. lot of stuff that we can do. We can potentially set up a block with Torn Elemental, mm -hmm. draw this Murderous Cut, delve the Elemental away, and recast it potentially. Hmm. Like those are all things that are possible. Uh, I don't know if that's the it, the, it, the best line. It might be his only one though. Just down the road. So this is going to gain us two. We're going to go up to nine. We're going to scribe that away, flip it. See another one. <laughs> see another cut. All right. So maybe that just isn't what Peter wants right now. Double land in hand is going to hurt. If Matthew is uh, paying attention here from, you know, cards that Peter has previously drawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, let's... Yeah, I think, you met, like you mentioned before, the only real out here is to leave back Torn Elemental. Sure. Find a way to get it back, but then it, it still seems a little too slow. Uh, these Raptors are doing a lot of work. Also, that morph on Matt's side will just bring them back. So, arguably, one of your better lines is to, like, I don't know, if you can find a way to just goad him into morphing it. Okay. Kind of turning off the recursion out of Deathmiss Raptor. Decides to take the Den Protector out of the yard again. Yep, gets another one. Jeez. So, yeah, I mean, these Raptors are, are sticking around. They're they're definitely going to put some pressure on. Second Raptor in hand. Yeah, that seems good. This will be a Den Protector face down. This, I, I feel pretty safe about saying yeah. it's a Den Protector. Yeah, and we're going to flip it up again. So gonna, what else can we find? It'll gonna, be find a murderous a cut. cut that we will delve for. We're going to find a cut, delve, and cut the torrent. I mean, that's that's the efficiency we're we're looking for yeah. out of these decks. I mean, just so brutal. Yeah. Here's Matthew Peter, Tickle gonna take game one. No, no further outs. Wow. I mean, just really. Yeah. That's how you, that's how you used to DC whip. That is it. Whip not even necessary. No, I mean it would have been great there for Peter. I think mm -hmm. uh, just to start getting some of the life back. But as we saw in early thoughts, he's for Matthew kind of handled that. He knew that yeah. that whip was going to get dangerous and just removed it immediately from Peter's yeah, hand. Yeah, it's definitely clipping his hand there. So you want to handle the sideboard? Who you got over there? You got Peter, I, right? Yeah, I got Tragos. Why don't you knock him out and, right. and see what we got? I imagine this will look pretty similar. Yeah. Yeah. So Tragos has two negates. Okay. Two disdainful strokes. One thought seize. One hornet queen. Two Treasure Cruise, two Bile Blight, three Merciless Executioner, mm -hmm. one Reclamation Sage, Reclamation, Reclamation Sage, Sage, and one, uh, one other Thoughtseize. Okay. Uh, so is that two Thoughtseize? Is that that's yeah, double Thoughtseize, huh? Yeah. Right. So two Thoughtseize. So if you're Peter, <laughs> just written you, twice. What do you like bringing in here? Um. Hmm. That's a good question. Seems, what well, seems solid? I wish we had a way to just outright deal with these raptors. Okay. Um, I think we have main deck uh, in case and ice. Mm, no, not seeing it. So yeah, nothing, nothing really like overwhelming here. Yeah. I, I think you can like bring in the thought seizes. Okay. I think we bring in, you know, bio blight just as an effective two for one against raptors. Sure. Um, again, it'll probably get recurred, but. If we can take him off a turn, I think it's valuable. And uh, I guess if we're anticipating a kind of mirror match, Reclamation Sage seems good. Okay. Just to kind of clip that whip. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't think you have to change too much. Let me let me hit you let me hit you some tech. Let me oh. get you guys some tech over here. Oh, here we go. First of all, Matthew sideboard, mm -hmm. all one ofs. Dang. It's crazy that, town. That's how it's done, I guess. We've got one Ashiok, one Bio yes. Blight, Snap off. one Crux of Fate, one Dig Through Time, one Disdainful Stroke, one Dragon Lord Silengar, one Drown in Sorrow, one Foul Tongue Invocation, one Negate, a card that I think is a super big blowout in this matchup, mm -hmm. one Farika God of Affliction. Yeah, absolutely. Amazing card here. Is essentially a scavenging use yeah. in this matchup, mm -hmm. which is just huge, so I can't imagine that card's not coming in. One Stratus Dancer, one Sultai Charm. An additional Thoughtseize, Torrent Endemental, and Ugin the Spirit Dragon. My god. That is that, that is, is juicy. Oh, it's great. The sideboard's nuts. He's uh, I mean He's ready to mix it up. There are I, cards that I a ton of cards that I like here. Farika is yeah. awesome. I love I well Farika, I mean, just exiling a raptor Seems out of huge. your opponent's graveyard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Sign me that's, that's that's what I'm looking for. A, that's the the answer to the raptor that I'm looking for. The Stratus Dancer is awesome here. The Torrent Elemental on Peter's side that we saw last game was very cool. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, even Ashiok can do work in this match. I really like Ashiok. That's the too, crazy yeah. part. Is like there are enough creatures that you can hit with her that are value. Yeah. That that you oh, might yeah, as well when you're, throw when you're out. recurring your your own opponents. I mean, your own opponents of Deathmiss Raptors. Yeah. Um, that seems fine. I'm I'm still just blown away. Or you can like hit a Horner Queen. <laughs> that seems pretty good. Yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of good cards here. A lot of cards that tilt this match in his favor, I'd say. Uh, but you know, back to the main point: the player who can fill their yard with death mists, and the player who can get a whip online. Right. I, I think our main deck strategies are are what's going to get us there in the end. But uh, yeah, to to what you said, there's these one ofs. There are a few there's of a lot them. of spice. That a just... few of these one ofs definitely will, sure. will do the job. So I like it. I mean, I I can't imagine if that Farika lands. I'm I'm gonna have to think it's just a, a house to get through. Yeah, definitely seems like a, a mirror breaker. Looks like does he have main board dig? Um, so it looks like he brought in the dig through time. The one of. He's got it in his hand. Matthew gonna take a mulligan here. Peter still flipping through his cards. Has to decide if it's worth the keep. And it looks like he's got lands and spells. Opulent Palace in the front. Yep. That seems fine. Also really happy to see Sadissi Brood Tyrant make her return. Really liked that card when it was released. I played uh, the early Empty the Pits deck mm -hmm. with her, and I thought that deck was super fun. Uh, yeah, agreed. Uh, Dow and I... I mean, uh, that card that card works pretty well with, yeah. uh, you know, our Death Mists. Oh, I, I think that card's <laughs> nuts. Uh, Why not? We, Sign me up. We had, uh, had those decks that we were kind of running around with the Nemesis Immortal, Nyx Weaver kind of style decks, and those were also very fun to play in standard for that short time. So yeah, short lived. Right, but yeah, good very to powerful. see her. Good to see her make a return. I mean, I know, I know a lot of people were very. I got blown uh, out by one of those decks. Yeah, they were playing Strength from the Fallen. Yeah, that yeah. card is pretty strong. <laughs> kind of ran me over. That's for sure. So Matthew on a mulligan again here. Wow. Not Up and down to five. Yeah. That seems rough. Seems a little hard. Gonna show Peter. I don't know. If, I don't know if a bunch of tech in your sideboard uh, helps you there. Yeah, but I, I I can't imagine it does. All part of the game, my friend. Hmm. Hopefully, well, we'll see if he can find the five. He is up a game. Got a little wiggle room for this game too to play around with. Very true. Always a place you like to be. Man, uh, this sideboard is awesome. Mm -hmm. Just the one of the 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 answers to everything that he's looking for kind of style here. I really like. For sure, I'm a little sad that there's no one case and ice in either of these lists. Really? Yeah. I think we're I think we're okay though. I mean, we do have a lot of. I mean, we've got murderous cuts. We've got merciless executioners in the main in some of these decks. Heroes downfall. I guess. Well, yeah. Like my point is, we have a way to really fine to just deal with the tyrant of Deathmiss Raptor. Mm -hmm. and we're, when we're also running Deathmiss Raptor, sure. we realize the power of it. And the the more efficient the answers, the better. Like, even as just a one of in the sideboard, I, it's fine. Matthew, you're going to lead with an early thoughts. He's here. He finds a coarser Sultai charm. Drown in Sorrow, Hornet Queen in Peter's hand. Gets rid of the coarser. Peter's going to draw... Just run out the Opulent Palace and pass back. Not much we can do early on. Both players playing tap lands, making sure that things are I mean, down. Interesting line with those Drowning Sorrows. I would, I would expect those to come out. Really? Yeah, I don't know if they're that great. Here is Death Miss Raptor Uno. And there's case number one for why it's not that yeah. great. Understandably. All right. Well, so Matt, again, more the aggressor in this matchup. Sure. Starting early with some action. Peter kind of playing the the late stall game with things like Corsair, looks, you know. Looks like he's got Hornet Queen. We're gonna find a Soul Tide Charm here. I imagine this is looting us some cards. Yep. Seems pretty bad to uh, just kill that Death Miss Raptor. Straight up. It's most likely just coming back. Yep. We're gonna drop a Hornet Queen into the yard. Peter gonna untap draw for turn, finds a Den Protector. Does he have the whip? Nope, but he's no, got his DC. He's got his DC. That's, that's fine. That that's seems a like sweet a good start. start. And. Oh, yeah. Wow. Not bad. We find we some found value. a raptor. Get a zombie. Found a raptor. This. Yeah, this is. Uh, this is where it tilts in Peter's favor. I think so. The more raptors he gets in his graveyard, the better. Right. He, now he's also still just getting extra value out of free 2 2 zombies. And, and this Sadissi, just a, a great card. I know a lot of people were 
kind of complaining about her originally saying, oh, well, she doesn't make a zombie for each creature that she puts in the yard. Sure. Yeah. It's still a standard card, so well, we're not... Yeah, we're not bridged from below anymore. Right, here. exactly. <laughs> Matthew legacy. finds the removal. All right. Well, that's your best bet, I guess. Peter going to be drowned to 16 after the attack from the Death Mist Raptor. Yeah, still, it's the DC doing work. We got a got a free zombie. We got some stuff in the yard. So if Peter could set up a whip, I mean this, oh, this yeah. game turns around and very quickly. Whip seems really good, right? I think either player, if they if they rip a whip off the top, it's it's in their favor. Peter gonna get in for two once again, attacking Matthew's aggressive life total. Gonna see a morph, more, eh, most likely no way to flip it. Good bait for Peter if that's Definitely. what he's setting up. Looks like Matthew does, in fact, have a whip in hand, or was that the courser I was looking at? I believe so. Regardless, we'll see a courser come through. Matthew deciding not to ping his life total any deeper. Yeah, got to start gaining life back sometime. Finds, I believe, a Stratus Dancer on top? Or is that another Deathmiss Raptor? Hard to see with the glare. Yeah, hard to tell. Looks green. Yeah. Looks green. I'll give you that. Alright, well, it looks like Peter going to get to keep his morph. I imagine it's a den protector. Sure. As, as you pointed it. out. What yeah. if it was a death mess raptor? What if Peter's just faking us out right just here? Just like, yeah. That's that's actually pretty good. I know. If you get him to use a removal spell on that on death, a death mess morph, raptor. That's, that's not bad. Interesting tech. Yeah. But, uh, no. He just gets to keep it. So we're going to we're gonna assume... That is the Death Miss Raptor from Peter. What is he looking at in hand here that he's kind of... I think he's got... Thinking about... He's got a lot of stuff. It does look like he has a whip? Or, I'm sorry, not a whip, a, a murderous cut? Some sort of interaction. I believe he's got a Den Protector. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so he's he's got those removals at the forefront. He's just... Mulling over... Mulling over his sequencing. I imagine that free zombie will probably just come on in. Maybe so? he'll test the water with an attack from this morph as well. You think so? I think so. Especially if it's, like, Death Mist. I don't know. This uh, I, I like how Matthew... It's it's the one turn we've seen Matthew not turn his his Death Mist Raptor sideways. So we mm -hmm. will see the Megamorph from Peter. Alrighty. He will recur a Death Mist Raptor back onto the field. Sign me up. I, I don't know. What did he take, though? Out of the yard? Do uh, we know? I did not see it. Oh, Doesn't man. look like he took Sadissi, though. Look at the sequencing here from Peter. I mean, just immediately created a board state. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see what he what took, though. I I imagine he would have taken one of those Sadisis. I would have thought so, too. So, did he did he miss it? He I don't think so. He Twitch. does have one on top. Twitch chat. Did he miss it? Yeah, did Did you guys see what Peter took, by chance? He didn't take the... Rem did he take another removal spell? So, of course, for Matthew as well. Finds a land on top. Looks like an opulent palace. Yep. So. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Matt. Matt's starting to get afraid here. Leaving back his death mists. Yeah. This is this is the first time in uh, game one and game two here where we've seen Matt kind of take a, a yeah. backseat, very aggressive early on. Putting on the brakes. Not so much anymore. Peter going to go up to f seventeen after the land. Looks like we're going to toss some stuff out. Here comes a big turn. Is this whip? Is this the whip? No, I bet it's the DC. Okay. It's so, DC number so three. wow, did he have three? Oh, no, that was the one he, he just drew off top. Yep. Knowing a Death Mist Raptor is assured. Yep. <laughs> yeah, sign me up. Seems all right. That is, that is value. And now we have a lot of power on board that we can start turning on. We can start getting in with our own Raptor. Mm-hmm. I'd imagine we we would. Oh, I, I would send in this raptor. Be a follow-up cut. This will be brutal. Do we just... Oh, because we can cut his raptor here. Uh, yeah, I imagine that's the line. Well, hmm. Yeah. I mean, there's there's no... Now Den Protector can't really be blocked. True. I mean, you have you have a bunch of huge bodies coming in. Sure, he, yeah, you can trade courser on courser attack, I guess, is fine. But yeah, we're still but getting in for six. six. Yeah. That's fine. Drops Matthew down to seven. With the power on board, we can go wide and just deal the final blow. So He's going to go up to eight after the land, oh, and boy. here's a whip. A little too slow, though. Namesake card on the field. Yeah, not a whole lot of mana to back up, though. So this this gains him three. 
did Peter just have an insane turn? What is that? Is that like a turn five? An insane, just like a super good turn oh, five yeah. for him. Uh, it it was slow and steady. I think he was uh, he was kind of getting value off those Sidisi. Sure. And just slowly building his board state. But yeah, I think when he flipped that den protector, yeah, and got back a, a death mist that came from Sidisi. Yeah, it kind of all. Yeah. Kind of came together. Kind of went downhill for Matt at, at that one. And now we can set point. up a turn. I mean, we have Den Protectors in hand. Yeah. So we can set up a turn where we, like, attack with Sidisi, make some more zombies. Yeah. Potentially deploy another Den Protector. Yeah, and this yeah, is here just... Come, here come. Turn, turn everything sideways. Here come the beats. Peter uh, doesn't care about it. any life gain. He's going to say Sidisi trigger. He'll mill a whip. Ouch. Doesn't matter, though, because we're going to get another zombie. Yep. And there's another whip on top, so it's just super rewarded with an attack here. That's how it's done. And that is the end of the game. All oh, right. man. Peter Peter answers the bell. Mr. Tragos Comes taking right back in it. game number two. This will be a game three going on. Good round two here in this IQ. Mm -hmm. Everybody's coming to play today. Guys, yeah. if you're just tuning in, thank you so much. This is round two of six for this SCG IQ hosted by Nerd Rage Gaming. This is a 1K today. Uh, you'll see that Mr. Trago, Smith or Masty Tickle here, playing uh, Sadissy Whip Mirror. Is it Tickal? Tickal. Maybe. Matthew Tickal. Sorry, Matt, if we're pronouncing yeah, it wrong. Yeah, it could be. We could be just butchering it. That's something we do. I like Tickle. I like Tickle also. Yeah. That's both, fine. We'll both players that. at one and one here. Sounding it off, we will have a cut to top eight after these six rounds of Swiss. Thank you for tuning in and enjoying some standard action with us. Guys, it's been just great magic so far. And yeah. this, this round two has been really exciting. Yeah, a little mirror action. Definitely showcasing the power of this deck, though. Yeah, I, I definitely showcasing the pilots as well. I mean, this yeah. deck is... A lot of people thought this deck was going to be dead. If if you have a, if, if you're a if you a good pilot and, and you know your lines of play, mm -hmm. uh, there's no reason not to pick it up. I know a lot yeah. of people are saying that Den, you know, the Deathsmith Raptor and the Den Protector are kind of autopilot cards. Um, mm, I don't know about that. They certainly work well together. See, it's pronounced like Tickle. All there right. we go. Right on. Thank you, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, by the way, guys, if you know if you're in Twitch chat, feel free to holler out. This is a this is a live stream. We can't see Twitch, so you know, we're always happy to the open forum. Yeah, to talk in uh you know, we're not we're not the only commentators. We'll let you guys commentate too. Any questions or comments you guys might have about Nerd Rage Gaming about the tournament or formats, standard, legacy, modern in general, we'll try to answer them. We'll try. We'll try. We'll do our best. That's all we really can do. Man, I you know what? I, I sound like a I sound like a Peter Tragos fanboy, but I do I, I like to watch that man play. Oh yeah. Coincidentally, I mean, the the duo knows. the Tragos Hoey duo I actually like watching play. Re regardless, Hoey's a good sure. Hoey's good too. Watching that man play is pretty exciting. They know their lines. They, they they're sequencing. Smart correctly. guys, man. Yeah. Smart guys. They put in the time. They've been grinding for a while now. I mean, they know how it goes. So, Matthew, gonna put down his hand, kind of explain to Peter here. Hey, you know, there's a lot of land in this hand. I don't know if I want to play this. I should keep it. I think he's asking him for uh, a free mulligan. Yeah, <laughs> right. Kitchen table times. I have seven lands. Does that mean I can just free mulligan? Uh, I don't know if there's other stuff going on out here very soon uh, relative to tournaments, but uh, I think we do have something coming up shortly in June. Mm -hmm. I think we've got uh, another IQ. This is on June 14th. This is a... Uh, once far. again, a 1K. Yep. Not too far out. Uh, coincidentally, the event's capped at 100 players because uh, we're throwing in a case of Modern Masters to the prize pool. Yep. So <laughs> that's good. on top of the prizes you normally get for your regular Star City Games uh, 1K Super Invitational Qualifiers, uh, Nerd Rage Gaming tossing in a case of Modern Masters. Seems good. It's got to be good. Seems uh, like value. You can see that the, the event is capped at 100 players. Uh, Pre-registration is open now at nerdragegaming.com. So you can go there and get pre-regged and get set up. Uh, so I think that's the next big thing we have going on in Chicago. Yeah. At least on our end. On our end, sure. Granted, we might be a little biased. That's true. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I wouldn't say so. No. Our name's not, you know, no, I'm just all, saying, all over the I mean, of course, right? we'll it's promote not... our own yeah. events. <laughs> that is our earliest event. I'm well, sure there's something There might between, be some other but... events. Yeah, that is that is certainly like the thing I think. I do believe Hot Sauce Games also has a 5K coming up at some point in time. For sure. Both players trading lands here early. Oh, Matthew with the Farika in hand. God, I want to see Ooh. this card get going. Yeah, that is a 
brutal sideboard card. Here it is. So here comes a Thought Seize. Matthew will drop down to 17 after this, and Peter with just a hand that looks good. Double it, Den Protector, Death Miss Raptor, Hornet Queen. What whip. do you take if you're Matthew? Well, there's a whip, too. So Is there a whip? My oh, my God. There's a. I thought that was a, a Landmore Waste. No. No. We, we got Waste. We got Waste Temple. Waste Temple. So our land's there. Den Protector, Den Protector, Death Miss Whip, Hornet Queen. So anything we take is just coming I mean, back. I mean, do you just try to... Do you just try to take a Den Protector? I'd, is that what you do? I think I want to alter the the R and D thought sees to say any card. Any card. <laughs> take one of those take one lands. lands I always wish that. Honestly, that's the best option. But reprint sinkhole. So we're gonna we're gonna get rid of one of his Eternal Witnesses. Yeah, that seems just, all right. That's a start. But yeah, that hand is. So here's a here's stacked. a question I can propose to Twitch chat out there, uh, guys in modern. We're going to use Collected Company as an example. I know we're playing Standard right now, but I'm just going to throw this out as a question. What do you play? Do you play Den Protector, or do you play Eternal Witness? You guys answer. You guys hmm. throw throw your answers up there in Twitch chat, and we'll see. We'll talk about it after the round. Sure, sure. Because that is an interesting question that's been proposed to me, as I do play the Collected Company combo list. And there's Farika, and this is sweet. Mm -hmm. God, this card's good in this matchup. Yes, I agree. The case there, I guess with that Thoughtseize, we could have taken, uh, you know, we could have taken the Raptor. Sure. Or we, you know, could have, so, if we have this Farika as backup to clip it the next turn, yeah. I think that's a good play. You're okay taking the Raptor then? Yeah. But Farika's here. I imagine here to stay. Not a lot of ways to deal with that well, thing. Well, we've just cut the Raptor after a fetch. Matthew got to drop to 15... And that's, has some delving to do. And that's fine. I don't think uh, I don't think Peter has morph unmorph on the table at the moment. So right. Yeah, this freak is uh, gonna start exiling some stuff. Oh, now, granted, it'll give this. Peter some some blockers. Well, some it, one ones, it gives him gives him time to deploy the Sadisi. All right. And that was a card he did not have in hand when the initial thoughts he's went off. Uh, that is trigger. another. That is another play. Uh, that gets <sighs> us around. Uh, uh, Farika Exiles yes, when, it does. when we have multiple copies. Yep. But fortunately, we only find a Wayfinder. Still gets us a zombie, but nothing to kind of stack our graveyard from this Farika. I mean, we're pressuring a board here. I can't imagine that a one or two of empty of the pits in the sideboard for this deck is bad either, because it mm -hmm. just turns all of your cards in your graveyard into, into threats late game. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe if we had, like, the card is some sort of devotion people. support... I don't know. I don't even think you need think devotion. You have a ton of cards here that just fill your graveyard. But we're also delving a lot. Uh, sure, uh, and that's where that's where I think it 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 finds its place in the sideboard, not so much in the main. Okay. Um, I mean, just as a blowout play, we could we have the potential right now to make what one, two. Th I mean, we have the potential at instant speed to make three zombies if we're Peter. Mm -hmm. Right now, you know, without milling too much. Uh, Matthew going to drop to 14 hmm. after playing the Courser. I don't know, it's a it's a thought. It's a thought. You get blown out by Bioblite, though. You do. You do so. get blown out by Bioblite. It is a card still. As the game goes later, maybe when it rotates. less likely yeah, that like, your people have the card. But when, when Drown and Bioblite rotate, maybe, sure. maybe Empty the Pits will get a little better right. if nothing else fills the slot. And some some insane, like, Entreat, Entreat the Demons card. Yeah, so, like, just, sure. <laughs> yeah, just nutty. Entreat the Demons. <laughs> demons everywhere. I'd, I'd play it. I'd snap oh, it off. Oh, this will be a whip for Peter. Kind of dry on the lands so far. I don't know if he's got a tap one he can play now, but these guys are going to get into the red zone. I mean, that's one thing whip does for us. So we're going to attack. No. We're going to gain some life. We'll most likely... Do we need... No. Oh, oh whiff. we whiffed. Three lands, and We found two. the lands that we so desperately needed, but there is this, one for Peter. This is the downfall of, of your, you know, mill, delve. Sure. You know, graveyard decks is sometimes they just they just do it the wrong way. Peter gonna go up to twenty three. The course are gonna eat the chump block. Yeah, Peter's gonna, gonna go up to fifteen. Though. I mean that is And we see on that the top is a good of, exchange for Peter. Still. That is a Sadissi undead vizier on the top of Matthew's deck. Uh, that card will do some work. Lo again, we said a lot of great one ofs in Matthew's sideboard. Definitely. Uh, a lot of cards in this mirror will sort of break the right. game for you. So, yeah, Sadisi seems pretty good. question is, what are we sacking for its exploit? 
Sure. Cause I don't know if I want to lose my course or joining the channel. Thank you, bud, for the follow. We appreciate it. Peter's going to try to pilot his way around this now. We can whip back a Death Miss Raptor. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, this, I mean, he's got the Den Protector play. Yeah. He can play Protector and flip it. Trigger Death Mist and then probably get back, I guess, a, a removal spell or another Den Protector. Sure. Um, the thing is here, I think if we go into combat, we, we get to mill a little bit more at the Sedisi. True. So and really go. find out. Oh, so he's just going to go straight off the gate here. Yeah, he's looking to proc Sadisi. Finds, finds a creature. Finds a Sadisi. An undead vizier. Yep. It's going to give him a 2-2. Two -two. It will. So, yeah, here here comes the uh, the value. This is this, this is where things get rolling. This is what all the setup is for. Man. And he plays a land. Mm-hmm. So let's see, Matthew has the potential to flip up this Den Protector he has face down and eat this other Sadisi. Do we go to combat here? Well, I think so. Really? Well, I, we're, wanna, we're sending in, in that Wayfinder, for sure. Yeah. yeah. That thing's just going away anyway. I think, uh... I think, yeah, I think I would come in with Sadisi as well. Okay. So so we're getting loud with pretty much everything. Ah, dude, send in that Wayfinder. Oh, doesn't send man. in the wayfinder. Look at this. Just zombies galore. He like, is. Now if we had empty of pits, come on. We're making so many zombies at the end of our opponent's turn. You're, no, you're... I mean, it's just zombies. It's not bad. There's so many zombies. There are a lot of zombies. Like, that is, is, that is one way to just kill your opponent. Yeah. There's a lot of zombies. And them not having Bible. And them not having Bible. And their city whip deck. Yeah, that's true. Uh, which, Matthew... Um, Does not? He, has one uh, in the sideboard, maybe? Has a Drowning Sorrow in the sideboard that's not really yeah, to save it. does not. So, yeah. Maybe you're right. Matthew going to drop down to 12 here after the attack. Mm. Didn't send in that Seder Wayfinder. Right. That makes me sad. It's going to get exiled here. That's a free life, my friend. Do you think so? It's free life. Free one life. Free one life. Mr. Trago's going to move not? up to 26. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely on Peter's side here. God, I mean, now he's got a turn where he can whip back, like, Sadisi the Undead Vizier, like, yep. sacrifice a zombie, yep. find a card he wants, and no, just I go agree. bananas, It's definitely right? in his favor. He he is Sadisi whipping better than his opponent is this game. His graveyard is stacked. He's got the Death Miss Raptor in there. He's got a Undead Vizier, yeah. or no, sorry, the uh, Brew Tyrant online. Jeez. I think it's missed once. Uh, this card's really... I, and that's why I like that card. I think that card's really good. It's yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm glad it's making a comeback. So there's the flip up for Matthew's Den Protector. He's going to Megamorph that. Get a card back from the yard. Get his own Sidisi Undevizier from the top. Yeah, finds that's... another Den Protector. So we could probably get something set up here. He has no cards in his graveyard, though, does he? So he can't really yeah, get a turn to like make a make a creature token mm -hmm. with the Farika, play the Undead Vizier, sack the token to go find a card. Peter's not even going to block here. Nah, there's no reason to. The question is, do we give up something now? Uh, exploit trigger. Hmm. Well, is, is Sadisi double black? Yes. So our Farika's online now. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, well, five, six. Okay. Now it's not, not anymore. But not we anymore. might go find ourselves a card that will turn it online. So, I mean, if it was online, regardless, we already attacked. Yeah. Um, so maybe, maybe a mental misstep there from Matt, because I think one way he kind of gets back into this is he starts beating down with Farika. Okay. Um, it, again, it's pretty deep and loose, but. When you're at, when you're in this stage and you're behind and sure. your opponent's having ridiculous turns, you gotta start doing something. He finds a whip on top. That's not bad. Well, like I, you said. I imagine he took a whip though with his. Oh uh, no! It looks no. like he took a Doomwake Giant. Well, that seems so pretty good. Well, he's not trying to set up the turn where he Doom and Glooms. Yeah. Just plays the Doomwake. Uh, sure. Gets the token with Farika. That's yeah, exactly. That seems okay. That seems fine. It's a strong turn. That's kind of the board wipe he's looking for to get rid of these zombie tokens. The problem is, is does, does Peter just already have this game locked in? Is that uh, is a yeah, den protector I mean, himself? 
Uh, we will morph the den protector, get something back. Can't imagine it's going to be anything besides a cut here. Gets a trigger off the death miss wrapper. What card we, do we, also, get we have Sadisi. Yeah, yeah, it takes yeah, the cut. And then we, we, we cut the undead vizier here. Sure, seems strong. It does, get yeah. Get rid I of mean, the death toucher. Yeah, and, and, and there's nothing you can really do. And now you, you have the play set up. These zombies are just turned on. I mean, Matthew can block one of them. Yeah. Uh, probably may decide to just block the 3 3 Sadisi, but the, the amount of life Peter's gaining here is going to be nuts. Yeah, it's definitely just putting him way ahead. Okay, here's also, another good. Zombie. also God, he's zombie. just hit on everything he's I mean, been doing. Hey, that's how the that's how the deck's made. Yeah, it's, you're it's not wrong. made to hit. Matthew going to drop to seven here. Peter gaining a bunch of life up to twenty nine after the he, attack. He had he had a whip and he has Sadisi. So yep. I mean, it's yeah, it's Farika's looking just a little too cute. Right I don't know. Now. This uh, this might be the play though. This doom and gloom could be it. We'll see. He has a chance here to really reset the board. Gonna gain a life. Finds another courser on top. Here he's he's gonna he slam it. Yeah, he can't he get that card out of his hand fast enough. Well, he went through a lot of trouble to get Doom. it. I love this card. He had to undead vizier it. Yep, make a token. Another trigger. Ooh. Minus two, minus two. Your team. So yeah, he's exiling his own guy. I don't know, man. I don't know if it's there. It's a good play. It's a yeah, good turn oh, for him, it's a super for sure. good play. But, I don't know. And here comes Corsair. Yeah, so Death Mist, I mean, in. Death Mist still 1-1, one, one, and still has Death Touch. And can most likely just get recurred anyway. Right. So I'd probably just block it. But, again, I'm also at 29 life, so. Sure, so, <laughs> so I don't, I don't I, yeah, I just don't know if you care that much. Peter down to 27. He's counting here, making sure that Farika is not turned on. Does which it is not. Good. Nope. Peter Currently with at this five. whip still available. Yeah, just I think I think a little too little too late there for Matt. I'm sorry, Matt, Matthew at eight, I believe. Can definitely. Uh, I it's mean, it, it, it's he has potential. He can draw out of this really well, but again, I sense another big turn from Peter here sure. coming. So. So this looks like a whip activation on Peter's side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which this card is... That'll do some work. Just belligerent. Does anyone remember the reason why people said whip wasn't good for a while? Did, what was the what was the like the call there? Because a race? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, don't, I can't. I, oh, jeez. A reclo sage in the yard will take care of the doomwake giant. Doom sure. and gloom not doing its job. Sure will. Boy, that was. That, that turn was just a tad bit late. Yeah. I agree. I mean, he did what he could with what he had. Sure. He, he's definitely just getting overwhelmed by Sadissi. What? Sadissi and the zombies. Yep, here she goes again. Let's see if she can one-time it for Peter again. I, my money's on it does. Yeah, it finds yeah. a creature and makes it 2-2. Two, two. It certainly does. Th three times looks, over. Jeez, looks like the 1-1's one, going to go ahead and take care of this, this brood tyrant that's been leading this pack of zombies. Yeah, I think that's a little too late. It seems like it. <laughs> but yeah, it's again. This, card's, this I think card's done its job. That is the block you you would make. Might as well play it through and see what happens. We still got a whip at the ready. Peter's gonna go up to 32 after that attack. Matthew dropping down to three. I mean, so if you're mad, I think we can we can run out whip, and if we have something else, we we turn on our Farika. Yeah. We can get in for beats. I just don't know. We still have mana up to make an enchantment. Uh, snake, yeah, but it's all just too... It's too late. It's too slow. Too little, yeah. too late. This gives us so. two life here, puts us at five. Ooh, death miss off the top. Do we have another card we can play? We got the whip we can activate. Do we have mana up to keep a snake live? Yeah, okay. we should. So whip, whip's so, gonna come down. Yeah. Farika's gonna be online. Question, does Peter have another... Does Peter have another reclamation sage in the yard? He does, I think. So he's going to pass. Peter's going to draw. He also has a, a... No, that's a Rattleclaw. I don't... Yeah, I don't think he does. One. But he does have a cut. And he's just going to turn off Rika. Yep. And I imagine he'll just uh, bash Swing on in. Swing on in here for some, uh, some force, damages. Force some bad blocks out of Matt. And if he doesn't concede, he'll have him pretty much dead again next turn anyway. So... Yeah, and, and Matt's yard. I don't think it's. I don't think he's got a lot in there. To well, no, he, that. he's had almost nothing to fuel. His, it's, it's almost like he's had a game like 
Peter did game one where he just had nothing to fuel his yard. Mm -hmm. And this that that original Sidisi Brood Tyrant from from Mr. Tragos just did a ton of work. Yeah, MVP. It, yeah, honestly, for sure. The the card went just went bonkers. Filled his yard, gave him every card he needed, gave him a plethora of two twos that granted were wiped away by the Doomwake play. That was a, a sweet play for Matthew. It was just so late. Yeah. Just, yeah, just wiping up tokens. Right. Me. Yeah. All the things that do work for Peter are still there. And this would be another whip activation. Uh, get it's going to be Sidisi. Maybe? Potentially. No? We were thinking gonna about it. New are we not going to activate it? New Sidisi going to kill its old Sidisi zombie friend. Well, that's a good way to tutor something up. How poetic. The question is, is it just better to play another Sidisi right here? Yeah, I think that's what he's considering. He's also got Den Protector up, up front. Sure. Uh, so he might might just want to morph on morph. Probably get back. Looks doesn't matter because he'll be tapped out. But you know, a lot of options there. I mean, I think I think he. I... Yeah. So he wants to whip. Right. I don't think I don't think that's the question. I think it's just the target. So we'll be. So this is the end of his ear. Yep. Sacking the zombie. This is gonna go find a cut here. I would imagine so. Uh, if it's there. Matthew with only the ability to potentially make a snake and then block. Yeah. But he's but still dead on board? Yeah, I think so. Cause we got if I have his life total correct, which I, I believe he should be at four, there's the cut. So it will die. Yep. So yeah, imagine we'll get a snake. Yep. It can block. So... We didn't play Rakshasa this turn, right? That was last turn. Uh, so yes. So we can just so yeah. here comes here comes the team now. We can swing out. You can't you can't prevent four damage. If he is at six, though, I guess he stays well, alive. Well, yeah. Is he at six? Has he been at six? Did I miss a life? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, just, yep. And here comes blocks. Sure. Snake gonna. Oh. Yeah, I like that. Well, yeah. Well, no, I don't like that because we're we're just dead on board, even if we are at six. Oh no, he does gain one. Right. All so right. He'll, so he'll yeah, go to just, one after attack. He's just eking. So yeah, I do like that block then of blocking Deathmiss. Sure. It's not getting exiled if it we go to the end step. Uh, so DC is leaving us. So we're gonna whip back a Doom and Gloom. Double Courser is what I missed. Okay, thank you. All right. So this will be a. Doom and Gloom, trigger, trigger, kill your Rakshasa. Oh boy. Uh, Gonna get in for uh, for four. Yep. Put us up to five. All right. Well, we lived. We're, we're getting we're, there. We're crawling our way out. Peter at 29. Matthew at five after the Doom and Gloom attack. Mm -hmm. So that Maybe at six, he says, after playing a land with the Corsair. Doom and Gloom did some work. Yeah, it did. Do we have a way to deal six here? I don't know. I mean, this another Reclo Sage is kind of what Peter need. Yeah, I agree. Because, uh, yeah, when, when both players have whips, I mean, definitely gets grindy. For sure. Uh, Peter mulling it over, though. Yeah, not a lot of... Uh, not a whole lot of options. He could get back Rakshasa with the whip and pump it once. Okay. But, you know, that doesn't really do much for us. So there will be a whip activation. Mm -hmm. Peter likes to pump fake this whip. Yeah, all that really does for us is gain each player more life. So it looks like he does have a Sadissi, though. And that is... That has whiffed. Uh, Ouch. It is. Well, that's a little rough. A little tough. <laughs> little tough there, and it's, it looked like Matthew had removal for it as well. Yeah. He's think, he's, looks like he's got a response for it. I don't know. Rattleclaw. Okay. We'll make a Farika token. Draw a Seder Wayfinder. Have our own Sadissi Brew Tyrant on the top. That's going into Yard. All right. Now we're getting a Graveyard on. A Whip and something else. Uh-oh. Sid another Sadissi and a Den Protector. It's happening. So Matthew's slowly struggling out of this match. He's he's doing it. He's He's got a yard now. He's got a Whip and he's got Sadissis. He could crawl his way back now. 
So can we activate the whip here to get the undead vizier back? Is That's what it looks like we're going to do. Yep. Freka's online. Sacrifice the Seda Wayfinder. Freka is once again turned on. Jeez. What is happening? I'm not sure. I mean, this is just a this is a brutal match to watch. Both players just bouncing yeah. back and forth. Peter with a yeah. very commanding early game lead. Mm -hmm. This whip, though, has just caused issues for him on yeah. the side of Matthew. Now he's going to find his Reckless Sage, turn off the whip, and start beating in. Send in Farika, dude. Send it in. Because Farika gets turned off, I think. After uh, one, this. two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I believe Farika. Well, because we're going to lose our Sidisi. But we got two from the whip, one two, from the three, Reckless Sage, four, five, six, two. Okay, yeah. And then two from Farika herself. I'd, I'd still send it in. I, I would as well. Peter going to drop down to 24 here. Life swings are changing. Very slowly. Matthew Tickle going to go up to uh, 10, I believe, after the attack. So he was at, four, at six, five. swing for three, four? I think he gains five. Gains five? five so this is uh, four, five? Yeah, four, six. Four, six. Yeah. To 11. Yep. Uh oh. <laughs> and now we yeah. gotta now we gotta find a way to put an end to this. Yeah, it's it's getting out of hand. You will see the time has expired in round two here. I mean, if you're Peter here, I don't think you want to go for the draw. Not at all. Not after you had a commanding lead over this game. I mean, to seal up this game three would be obviously very important for both players. Oh sure. Uh, Peter did though just have. Uh, a very strong lead early on. Oh, he did. I mean, yeah, Matt just barely able to eke his way. Oh, yeah, uh, he uh, he had great uh, he plays. He survived one turn. Yeah, very strong. And then strong was able to say. turn it around on the power of Farika and having his own whip. So yeah, I mean, Peter probably scratching his head, saying, "Man, I really wish I had that reckless age back." Yeah. Agreed. I mean, he. Yeah, I agree. Actually. At the time, it made sense because he sure. just—he was so far ahead, and he could just deal with the the doom wake. So this will be a hornet queen now for Peter, setting up a very defensive play here. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, not not really helping him win. Sure, but it will uh, definitely kind of help him stabilize and contain this board a little bit. We're gonna go to turn one. Turn one, four players now on the clock. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if Matthew has it to to get Peter down. Yeah. Um. And so, if we're sending in our flyers, we have six power with our with our hornets. Sure. Um. And Peter's gonna get two turns to attack with them. I believe so. So if Matt gains no life. Peter could potentially win this round. But I don't think it's going to break that way. Because, yeah, I think Matt sees that. He's just sending in a little chunk of his team yeah. just to gain life. Now that they're on turns, I think this attack is fine. Um, we're we're just putting it out of... We're putting ourselves out of range. Sure. And we, you know, I think we know we... Peter might just have a little too much life. And what can really happen... Against the city, I mean, he he went back the city. He got a zombie for his for his trouble, and then found a den protector as well. So. Yeah, he's definitely. I mean, he's clawed back in it. Peter gonna drop down to fifteen. This this game could arguably keep going for like another forty minutes, right? With the way it's been breaking, it'd be interesting to see how it would play out if it could. Because at this stage, I don't know if anyone has. A clear lead. Matthew going up to 22 after that attack, I believe. Yeah, he's gained a bunch. Yeah, and now he's the one with the whip, so right. just just turns it over. My God. Matthew also recognizing his Farika is good to go. So I like that he sent that in finally. It's good for a nice chunk of life. Mr. Trago's only riding on the back of this Hornet Queen and his Brood Tyrant. Yeah, and man, we, we don't even care about, like, Den Protectors and Death Mists anymore. Right. We're, we're all on the back of Whip, 
in Sadissi right now. Man, the fact that we lost that early whip is just killing us. It is. I mean, I think if we still had it, we'd be in a pretty commanding lead here. Sure. So we're going to... Looks like we're going to play a morph. What can we hope to den protector back here? Well, it's probably a whip. Uh, but that's still pretty slow. Mm -hmm. we could also... Yeah, so definitely wants to flip it. That'll give us our... What is he, what did he take back? A cut here? Take removal. Alright. He says he, he's gonna cut something. Not yet. Maybe. Just taking it back. He's <sighs> maybe, maybe taking this back? I mean... Not geez, sure. This is brutal. It is. Both it's, these players are just... I mean, it's like a its like a slow bleed dance trying to get it out here. Yeah. We're gonna get a snake. Okay, so I think we, we got a snake in response to our den protector. Okay. Hence the hesitation there. Peter finding the cards he wants to remove. Slimming down Matthew's team. The problem is, is Matthew with the whip? Peter... Has one in hand or has one in the yard still? And here comes the squad just getting in for damage. It's going to be a sadistic trigger for Peter. He does find a Seder Wayfinder that will give him a 2 2. He's going to go ahead. There goes the cut. Cut the Raptor. Sure. Eking down the team ever so slowly. Yeah, I like that play. If we get Freak offline, we're, we're guaranteeing our draw. Yeah, I guess. Matthew. Gonna go ahead and make a snake token. Yep. Snake it in a turn. So we can find a one, two, three, four, five. If we find a double color spell and can turn Farika back on, we might have a chance. But snake. you know, Peter with chump blockers at the ready, so But yeah. Now, now I'd say this game's pretty out of reach for Peter. Right. Uh, don't know if Matt has enough time to close the door, though. So. Matthew going to drop down to 19. This will be turn three. Both players now on turns as time of the round has ended. I mean, Peter's Peter's been Is doing all this. Ashiok. Oh, jeez. Oh. Again. Man. Oh, pretty cute. A little slow though. I don't. I don't. Little, little I. I disagree with you right now. Yeah. With the amount of cards that each player has milled out of their own library. Sure. That card is brutal right now. Hmm. How? I mean, how? How many cards do you think Peter has left in his deck? Um. I don't know. I don't. I don't think it's that low. Really? I mean, we're am, seeing am most of Peter's cards on the battlefield right sure. now because his graveyard is spewed out for us. So six. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it's that, that much. Oh man, I think that's a. It's it's just it's uncontested. A, it's a, yeah. Without being in rounds yet, it's just another thing that wins us the game. Sure. But yeah, no, I think I think here it's just too Peter too slow. Take a swing here, drop down to eleven. I think we're gonna go up to twenty three. This is turn four. And unfortunately, I I, I mean I. I feel like this is just going to time. It's going to be yeah. a draw between these two. Most likely. I think if Peter has something to run out just to lock up the ground, you might as well. Nope, he's just bashing. Yeah, you doesn't might as even, well. Doesn't even care. He has another Brute Tyrant in hand. I mean, he could always just play it and make a zombie. It's not... Mm -hmm. I guess going to kind of decide here maybe to hold back some... some of the Hornet Queen tokens? But he says, "I think they're just gonna come. Not gonna, not really gonna deal with it." Yeah. All right. Oh. Yeah, Matt's just. just yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, Shaq's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Done it. Sure. <laughs> Great. This will probably be the follow-up brood tyrant right here. Potentially the death mists. Matthew himself gonna drop to 18 after the attack. Brew time will hit, make a 2 2. Mm -hmm. One more turn left in this match. 
Right. Gonna play a death mess, pass back, and another blocker. <laughs> this sounds good, dude. Dang. Welcome, Dreadful. Dreadful Mage, thanks for following the channel, Brud. We appreciate it. Always nice to have new faces joining the NRG clan. We just made five snakes. <laughs> Spamming the snake. Oh, well, we made three. We made three. We now had we two. Have, we have five. This is turn five. I don't... Is there a kill here, though? Uh, I don't believe so. I think... I think we death got too mist, many chump blockers. Whip. Another death mist. Sure. Do we get there? He's trying to figure out the life totals. Turns everything sideways. Turns the five snakes sideways, at least. Or maybe doesn't. Sure, dude. Peter says, all right. He says, that's it. There's, there's nothing that's going to... Nothing that they can stop the rounds. They'll go 1-1 here. That'll be a draw between uh, Mr. Peter Tragos and Matthew Tickle. Wow. Wow. Well, we certainly thought it was going Peter's way. Boy, I, I, I could have sworn. I mean, that was a... I, I saw a few people talking in chat there about the never-say-never never attitude of whip players, but oh, I, I, I can't tell you. I mean, that was just just an amazing match to watch. Yeah, no reason to, to quit so you're absolutely dead. Very true. But, yeah, I mean, Matt knows the deck. He, he knows he had it in hand, and he had ways and outs to get by. And sure. Stuck with him, and, and sure Man. enough, brought this game out to a draw. Both players are really battling it out. Can't can't imagine either of them are very happy uh, going 101 here though. Leaving sure. round two, yeah, you know better I mean? than better than losing. That's that's true. You're not wrong. Yeah, very good match. Uh, uh, coincidentally, uh, great watching both uh, both players there pilot the mirror match. I mean that yeah. was that was well, strong magic. Yeah, not not totally familiar with that deck. I I know it's kind of just breaking out recently. Sure. Uh, but we definitely saw what it's capable of there. Very uh, much so. Definitely see the power of Sadisi and Whip. Yeah. Hence the name of the deck. It does really well against its mirror. So. Well, hopefully we can get one of those guys back in later on in uh, some future rounds here. Uh, yeah. Guys, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be moving into round three shortly. As you saw, that was uh, into turns there. So yep. I can't imagine the pairings are much longer for uh, for that. So I'm gonna throw up the be right back sign. Gonna just leave the timer on for 15 minutes. But you know what? We'll probably be back before then. So uh, stay tuned.